Hi, my name is Jared Zonarek. I am one of the founders of PromptLayer, and we are a platform for prompt engineering. So we, uh, we help you with everything prompt engineering from managing, collaborating, evaluating, whatnot. So uh, this is gonna be a pretty quick tutorial video on a very important topic, which is how do you evaluate your RAG system? So to do this, uh, and RAG, if you don't know, Retrieval Augmented Generation is one of the cornerstones of this LLM revolution we live in, where you're kind of using these LLMs to help you pick data out of a big data set and better answer questions. So uh, I've gone ahead and created a little RAG system uh, on a demo, like demo server that ha is trained on a New York Stock Exchange data set and it, uh, it helps me retrieve data about different stocks based on a question I ask. So I'm going to show you how to build this whole pipeline and evaluate the pipeline end to end, which is very important. Uh, so let's go ahead and create our prompt. I'll call it um, stock buddy, a little buddy that will help with the stocks. I'm going to copy and paste the prompt just to save time. Basically, the prompt is saying you're an AI stock trader. The user is asking you a question and we'll use an input variable question. And then you've retrieved this data from your internal stock data set. And then we'll put some data in. Please answer sir, the user's question. So let's uh, let's add a let's add some of like the model parameters here. Uh, this looks good. We can change this later. All right, first commit, and let's create our prompt. All right, so now we have the prompt in prompt layer. We can test this out in playground. Uh, I can write the question here and give the data, but let's just get right into it. Uh, we can assume this this works relatively well. So we're going to go into our evaluation page and create a new pipeline. So the pipeline kind of helps us evaluate this. We're going to build a pipeline that's end to end of our whole RAG pipeline. And, you, and you'll see, you'll see how this helps. Uh, so let's call it a end to end RAG eval. So I've gone ahead and already created a data set to help us do this. I'll show you the data set. Basically, it's a bunch of questions about stocks. And then these are the ground truth answers. So I actually just manually look through the data set to figure out these answers. So let's upload this data set. And we'll call it uh, stocks question and ground truth. All right, let's do it. Select the data set. Let's create our pipeline. All right, so here we go. We're looking at a preview of the pipeline, only the first four look rows. This kind of helps for us to construct the pipeline. So the first step in this is the retrieval step. So we want to take the question and we're going to get the data that we can then inject into our prompt. So we're going to add a new step here. I clicked uh, this button, kind of each step is a column. So the first step, we're going to choose custom API endpoint. So like I was saying earlier, I've set up the RAG system on a little endpoint I created. So we'll just, we'll call this retrieval. Retrieval JSON, it returns JSON, and then I'll paste in the URL. So this will now be running. And as you can see in our preview, we have some JSON that's been returned, uh, the payload it's given, the question. So now what do we do next? We'll add our next step, which is actually the prompt that we want to test. So we'll call it um, answer. And then our prompt is called stock buddy, if we recall. Let's save it. We'll give it the data. So these are our input variables from the prompt template. So data will be retrieval JSON. Question will be question. And let's run it. Oh, we already have answer. All right, that's true. We'll call it AI answer, because we already have the real answer. All right, so now that'll give us what the AI says. Now, I guess, now we want to evaluate it, see if it's correct or not. There's a lot of ways you could do this. You can, you can uh, do maybe a vector distance. You can build an endpoint for that. We're going to do something simple. We're just going to have the AI evaluate itself. So I'm going to go back over here, and I'm going to create a new template, and we'll call this AI evaluator. I'm going to also paste in my uh, my prompt. Basically, it says you're an AI system meant to evaluate a new data analyst that was hired. You have all the real answers. Please give a true or false if they're correct or not. 
uh, we also need to add a question or a message here where we have the question, the AI answer, and the real answer. Perfect. Now let's not forget the parameters. Let's move the temperature all the way to zero for this and let's do GPT-4. Just make sure it's correct. All right. Now let's go back to our evaluation pipeline. So if you remember, we were here, we're gonna add a new step and the step is gonna be another prompt template. So we'll call this eval. And then let's choose our AI evaluator that we made earlier. And now let's plug in all our variables. So we have AI answer, we have question, and we have the real answer. So now this should give us a bunch of true and falses. There we go, amazing. Now let's plug this all together and build it in a scalable way. So this is back to stock buddy. Uh, so we wanna kind of see how this works. So I'm gonna actually edit this. I don't even need to change anything. Maybe I'll just throw in an exclamation point there. And then I'm gonna click, yes, I wanna run an evaluation. And we're gonna select, uh, what did we call it? End-to-end -end rag eval. We're gonna select the eval we just made. Now, boom. This version of our prompt template is now associated with this evaluation. So if we open it, it's done on the whole data set and it's gonna start running and it's gonna start calculating this. And the final score output it's gonna have is the tally of the, the eval. So let's, let's wait a minute here. All right, we are back and the eval has finished running. So we can click into the columns here, see statistics about the latency and cost of each column, meaning our prompt template, and we can finally see. So it looks like we passed 72% of these. That's pretty good. Uh, but let's see if we can get that a little bit better. So now we can jump into here and let's, uh, let's first, let's change the model. Maybe we'll change this to GPT-4. Let's actually do GPT-4 turbo. Let's, let's give it temperature zero because it really doesn't need so much temperature. Uh, we could separate these into messages too. We could say, uh, maybe this, this is question. And then maybe we'll put another assistant message. The data I retrieved was, I retrieved some data, data, I will now answer your question. And we'll delete this from the left side. And let's uh, separate into messages and GPT-4 Turbo. And we'll run another eval. All right. So we have 72% for the last one. So let's see if we could beat that. I don't know if it'll beat it. All right, I will see you guys soon. And we are back. I'm very excited that this one worked. I had no idea. I wrote that second prompt live with you. So we got 80% this time, that's pretty awesome. So let's go back to our original prompt and boom, we started with 72%, got to 80%. This, is, uh, this has been a quick tutorial, but this is how you evaluate a full RAG system. As you see, we built a pipeline that had a few steps, including the retrieval, including the prompt, including an eval. You can make this more complicated. You could add a bunch more steps. Maybe you have multiple retrievals. But this is the simplest version of an end-to-end -end RAG pipeline eval. Hope you enjoyed.